Hi, welcome to ESP32 tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to build an internet LCD clock based on ESP32 using ESP32 extension board from SunFounder, which is powered with battery. This clock is updated via the internet. It can display time in 12 hours or 24 hours, day of the week. Uh, and then the date, month, and year. The month also can be set uh, with a shorter or longer format. Also, we are going to test it with 2004 of 20 characters and four lines. And in the longer and in the longer format, with the seconds, day of the month also has changed. ESP32 starter kit from SunFounder. This is the best ESP32 learning kit from SunFounder. It has this ESP32 microcontroller which has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This board can do everything Arduino Uno can do or many other Arduinos can do, plus extra more features. Because we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the possibilities are endless. You can get connected to the cloud or do the control or read information or values via your mobile device or your desktop or over the cloud from a far location. It comes with a camera extension kit where you can stream the video over Wi-Fi either through the cloud or to your network. And also it comes with micro SD card where where you can save uh, images on the micro SD card or you can write from the device any information, log the information on the device and read it back. You can power the board using this included 18650 lithium battery and it has built-in charger where you can connect micro USB and charge the battery. The kit comes with 320 pieces of component that you can learn tons of projects. Usually, when, when we build a clock, we need to have RTC or real-time module that calculates the time and we set it, and then we can build a clock. I have, a, I have multiple videos based on those, but those does not need any internet, and you just use a regular, you can simply use regular Arduino Uno without internet, and it will just work fine. The beauty of this is that you don't have to set it up or adjust it or anything. It's connected to the internet and the time will be adjusted automatically. You know the deviation because the clock will be very uh, accurate. But in order to pull that, the data from internet, we use NTP server and we use Wi-Fi. So this is ESP32 has a Wi-Fi and we will set it up in our code and we will get connected. So this gets... Um, this sends a request from NTP server and also from the government, government time.nest.gov from the US and it will pull up the date and time and it will print it for us. So this is one way to have a precise clock and we will learn a lot, a lot of principles of Internet of Things and connectivity to the Internet. Before coming to this lesson, make sure to prepare your Arduino IDE for ESP32. That is lesson one of this course. And also make sure to watch the video that we introduced this LCD screen. The link for both will be below this video in the description. So watch those videos before coming, otherwise your project might not, might not work. If we come here to ntp.org, this is the page that we are seeing here. NTP refers to a network time protocol and there are servers across the world. They are working together and providing information so you can pull up the information. If I click on uh, this support and look at, click on time servers, we see the servers list here and here the pool. And the one that we are using is pool.ntp.org. And then you see all of them, they have pool. But if you are in Asia, just use asia.pool. Europe is Europe. And then North America.pool. Oceania and then South America. Depending on your geographical location, select the nearest pool and set that in your code. And let's have a look at the library. So all the RSCs. The protocol and everything is 
mentioned here and based on RFC 89.15. This is September 2020 and we can click and view the HTML here. When you use ESP32 with SunFounders ESP32 camera extension module like this, it comes also with a battery on the package and it comes a built-in charger so you can connect it and charge it and disconnect and later on you can use it with a lot of power so you can power up your application very easily. Now let me show you the wiring. We are getting this male to female. One side is female, the other side is male connector and when we are connecting it, first, uh, first First let me connect these first let me connect these four wires here. I connect them like this and if I turn it around it looks similar to this color. The bottom is orange as you can see here then yellow and then red and the top one this is like black and white and we have brown like that. Now I'm turning this so and from here the top one the brown goes to ground to the ground and then the red goes to 5 volts. So this portion is done and then yellow goes to 21. and orange goes to pin 22 and 22 between 21 and 22 there is two there are two holes left I've started the code by selecting file examples and under ESP32 go to time and sample time I have taken that code and modified it and added all the other features so I built this internet clock project. I use this liquid crystal I2C library, crystal LCD. I've already shown full details of it. Right click here and paste it and you will see that it shows liquid crystal by Frank D. Barbander and it is installed so you just click and install it. You please watch the introduction to LCD video otherwise this will not work and then from that we have created from that library we have created this object called LCD and we are typing the I square C address for the for for some founder the address is 0x27 but some other boards will have different address. I have written them it's not written you need to run I to see a scanner I will provide you the code make sure to run it and then 16 means 16 character and two line and if you have this 2004 which has 20 characters and four line then you will type 20 and 4 here 20 and 4 this is 16 too this shows seconds if you want to show the seconds If you want to show the seconds, set this to true, so this will be shown. If you want the month to be short, set this to true, so this will be shorter. And if you if you want 24 hours, set it true. At the moment, it is set to true, but if you set it to false, you will see AMPM here as well. This Wi-Fi is to connect to the internet. Time as NTP. This time zone I have added the time zone here to make sure that we can get the uh, different time zone based on the countries. This is your SSID for the for your Wi-Fi. This D uh, in this case is DARS. If you type capital D it will not work. 
so respect the case and enter the password for your uh, uh, router. This is a server where we pull the date and this is a second NTP server, time.nist.gov. And then this offset, if, uh, at the bottom there are two options. One is to calculate and see the city that you are living from GMT. Let me show you. For example, if I type time in Toronto, you see here UTC minus 5. UTC minus 5 means from uh, uh, universal time, we are 5 hours behind. And let's see if I type Dubai. You see here it says plus 4. So this number is that hours, and because we want it in terms of second, one hour, one hour has 3,600, so we multiply it. And then a daily offset seconds, one hour if you have daylight saving time or something like that, otherwise set it to zero. But we are not going to use these two. There is a trick at the bottom of the code that I'm going to explain. I have defined these months from the internet. We are getting in long format, so I have created a short format and we can pull this so you can you can change these names differently if you want if you want so this function uh, uh, prints at that time so the most important function it's up to up to here so let me explain it properly and so first uh, we are creating a structure call it time info and we check if get local time and then we pass this value. If it's not available, we say time is not, not available yet until it's available. After that, we this line is simply printing it like that. Let me show you. This is coming from, and uh, so we understand that A is Monday, and then percent B is the name of the month, and D is the day of month one. Year is the year. Right now it's set to 24, 2024. And then hour, minute, and second like that. And here I've also set it with hour, minute, and second so we can see it. If you don't want this, just comment it like this. It will disappear. And then we are setting, creating a character variable called time with five character length because there is always with this uh, one extra character. So and we are getting from this, we are getting capital H, the time is stored here. And in this line, we are getting that time, converting it to a string so we can work with this. And then we are getting for the minute, these two are for the minute and we convert it to a string. And this is printing this 0, 3. I should have commented this out. And here, if show hours is not true, then we check it out. And we get the hours string converted to integer and we check if it is more than 24 hours we get the minute and after the minute we concatenate or add this pm otherwise we get we add am and then we also get seconds day of the week monday tuesday wednesday and this is uh, month like one two three january february march or something like that and we convert it to string here and this was just uh, this is just replacing the month we have created an array the m from 0 to 11 and we check the month and we pull it from the array at the top so this is replacing the short and long form only if the short month is set to true and then we get the month uh, month day of the month uh, that's the date in the month like first up to 23 and this is for the year we get the year and here we, we create hour and minute together and then if the second is set to true then we have the time and we we get the time and we plus we add colon and we add the seconds at the end and we set the previous screen using lcd.clear set the cursor to line zero character zero we print the time and this line is printing the 
day of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever it is. And then we go to the character zero first uh, line one and we print day of the week uh, and we print day of the month, which is whatever the date is. With one space, we are adding month and this month depends on the setting, either short or long. And then with one space, we are printing the year. <coughs> this function will run when the time is available. So this will print on the screen and it will call the print local, which I just explained it. And this one, all this, which starts from here. And inside the setup, we initialize the serial monitor with 115,200. If I open the serial monitor, this number must match the number that is here. Otherwise, you will not be able to see it. And this is initializing the LCD. This is initializing the backlight. This is just printing the internet clock on the LCD. And we have we wait three seconds and this is SNTP set sync notification and it checks the available time this one should be before is so this is for DHCP it says optional we don't care about it this is the most important part so we call the time either using this and comment this if you use this then the three information that we had, remember we are at line 160. So these informations, these two, these two information that you see, these are very important. And these two will come and the NTP server, NTP server two will come here and this will configure the time and we'll read the time but because if you don't like the calculation then we can use this line but you have to enter the tz the a the time zone which i just showed you that in here this line i have included this from this url and it's already here it has included so many cities i'm sure any city that you think of might be here the biggest cities because it has over maybe around 470 cities so let's go back to 160 so that's why we are using just this one we don't need any offset or anything it depends whichever you prefer if you prefer the other one just comment this out and uncomment this line but configuration this is printing this on the screen on the serial monitor and this is initializing the wi-fi with ssid and password the connection this function checks if there is no connection it will just print the dot and this after that when this passes it means we got connected otherwise it will stay here so this will print connected inside the loop we have five seconds so the time is read every five seconds and then we call this function print local time which is at the top of the code now let's see how we can select the esp32 board we can click here under the select board and type here esp32 dev as soon as you type dev you will see dev board you can select it and click ok so the board have been selected. Now we have to select the port. The, the other way to select the board is click on tools, board, ESP32, and select the ESP32 dev module. Now we have to select the port. If I click here, it shows two ports, and I don't know which one belongs to my device. Sometimes you will, see, you will not see the number properly. So the best way to be sure, the right click on the start menu, go to the device manager, and you will see here the ports. If I click on this arrow, it will show me the ports. One is USB serial CH340, one, the other is USB serial device. And here, now it's connected. If I disconnect this, one of them disappear. The one that disappeared is my board. So 
sex stays and it disappeared if I connect it so it is my com port CH340 now it is my com port and I can select it or I can click on tool port and here you will see it you can select whichever you want ours is com8 now we have successfully selected the board and the port and this is very important it must be done first and here is a demonstration let me set the time here uh, we can set 12 hours true and here short month and let's set it to false so it can show the long man show seconds we can also show seconds if we want let's update it and see how it shows so I hope this fits because and then we don't have a.m. p.m. and then Monday hopefully it will fit and the month also should be shown in longer format hope and now it's getting connected wait until it shows here it is connected yes we can see time and and as you can see now it shows 0 2 to 48 and second and the month everything uh, looks very long uh, so now it shows the second the hour with the 24 hour format and day of the month is also shown in this long format perfect and here I updated it with this I use now green screen it looks much nice I have changed it to 24 hour format and I selected Toronto so it shows 1839 still today is December 31st